The Trump administration decided Friday to raise tariffs on $200 billion worth of Chinese imports. And now the Chinese are vowing to take necessary countermeasures, saying that tariffs must go before a deal can be reached. Paulo Sandoval has a look at what all this means for U.S. businesses and consumers. Step inside Ryan Zagata's New York City showroom and you'll see the unintended consequences of a trade war. With this new tariff, it's inevitable. We're going to have to increase the price on this model. Like many of America's small to medium-sized businesses, the Brooklyn Bicycle Company is already dealing with the burden of increased Chinese import tariffs. These bikes are assembled in China using foreign-made components to keep the cost down for the consumer. In September, the Trump administration's 10% tariff hike on nearly $200 billion in Chinese goods forced Sagata to raise some prices. This has been one of our most popular bicycles. It was a 449 bike last summer. It's now 499. Then on Friday, the White House announced that 10% will increase to 25, a change that will result in yet another price hike on the showroom floor. For every $100 we spend on bicycles, $5.50 we pay in duties. Since September, we've been paying an extra ten dollars. Now we're at fifteen dollars and fifty cents. If this, with this additional tariff, now it's another fifteen dollars. So we're talking thirty dollars and fifty cents for every single bicycle we import at, on hundred dollars. Not for every bike. Every hundred dollars we spend, thirty dollars and fifty cents. So on a two hundred dollars, our cost of factory is two hundred dollars. It's sixty-one dollars uh, that we're paying in, in duty to the government. Sagata says that means some of his customers will be paying more for the same bike. It's difficult for me. I can't call my customers and say, guess what? You're getting a better wheel set, you're getting better grips, and this luxurious leather saddle, it's, that's not what you're getting. Effectively, this money is going to the, to, the, to the government. It's been a rough ride for many business owners since President Trump waged his trade war with China. Sagata blames the uncertainty that comes with trade negotiations. It's not difficult for us as a business to decide what to do. We've built financial models that we can punch in these variables regardless of what the scenario is. And the model effectively will spit out, this is what you need to do. Um, the challenge with the models now is we're missing one main variable. We don't know what the final duty is going to be. With these trade talks still ongoing. There is some optimism coming from the president, who on Friday took to Twitter saying tariffs will make the country, quote, much stronger. Just sit back and watch. That may be hard to do for some U.S. importers, with China now vowing to hit back after Friday's tariff hike. I think the tariffs are a great tool, and I applaud the administration for, for what they're doing. I just think like six months, nine months in, it's becoming really difficult and like, come on already uh, with, with these negotiations. Like, let's, let's move ahead.